Well, morning boys and girls, friends, enemies, whoever, I don't particularly care. Um, I've had a few people contact me because obviously I've been off YouTube for six months following the accident, asking me how I'm doing. Um, yeah, I'm doing all right. I've almost got full movement back in my right arm. I'm doing weights and, oh, don't. It's been a nightmare. Um, I did post a video after the accident, which I had to take down again because of insurance claims and... Hmm. Sorry, I thought my mic fell. So, I'm sure a few of you got questions and I'll try and cover some of them here. Let's go through first what happened. I was on a main road, um, dead straight, wide road, apparently, because I can't remember a thing about the accident or an hour before it or um, about an hour after it when I woke up in the ambulance as we arrived at the hospital. Total zoncode. Apparently I was filtering and a car turned in front of me and kapow. Judging by the damage, the roof line of the car must have penetrated the, the, the plastic visor on the helmet and then I flipped over and landed on my back uh, which explains bruising all down my face and all down this body. Damage was subdural hematoma, brain bleed and the surgeon notified the driving authority so I lost my license for six months. I got that back last week. Um, fractured clavicle or shoulder bone, whatever you want to call it. Five, five other T vertebrae fractured. The C6 was broken. Now that's the bugger that makes you paralyzed from there down. So I was very, very, very lucky that I got to the hospital that I did get to. Uh, the accident was between Spalden and um, Kings Lynn. Neither hospital would take me. They're on the east coast of England for our foreign viewers. And they had to drive me across country to Nottingham, Queen's Trauma Centre. Um, the skin on this arm was removed from the elbow to the wrist. Was bone was showing through. That took months, two months of going down the doctors every week to get the skin to join back together and to heal. That was a long one. Got a hole in that leg. Um, various other bruises and abrasions, and minor bits and pieces. Uh, the ambulance crew and the surgeon agreed. The helmet, which was a Klim helmet, saved my life. That was fractured down that jaw piece, that jaw piece with a fracture there. It's carbon fiber. And a widthwise fracture across the back of the head um, I honestly think a cheaper helmet would have been demolished and I'd probably be dead. <sighs> Trauma unit, marvellous people. Um, does me up with morphine for three or four days. Eh, who cares? The bike is a write-off. The front distortion of the suspension was twisted so far back it penetrated the engine block. So the cost of replacement engines used even, or new case and all the other repairs, just totally unviable. Um, not bothered, it's a lump of metal. Um, I don't get, I don't get um, attached to my vehicles, I just enjoy them. <coughs> Excuse me, this place is dusty. The landlord last week decided that we're all going to have this new Air source heat pump with radiators, solid brick property, holes everywhere, dust. <coughs> There's an incredible amount of dust everywhere. All the books from my bookcase on the sofa and all my other stuff on the desk and it's just chaos. Um, not worth doing anything yet because they've also decided that in a week and a half I'm getting triple glazed windows. So they'll be ripping the windows out, more dust. So I'll wait till it's all over. How am I? Um, I'm okay. I'm good. Uh, a few days ago, I went out and got an old Vauxhall banger thing. <coughs> Excuse me. It's 
It's probably because I sat on this. And uh, I'm mobile again, in a car. Weekly and bi-weekly visits to the doctor by taxi or by friends and paying them petrol and <coughs> having to travel to out, of, out of area hospitals for scans and x-rays and has cost me a fortune. So I don't have the money for another bike at the moment. I'm hoping another six months I might just have been able to rebuild my resources to get another bike. Typical. We end up getting one in the winter. Um, injury is more or less forgotten now. Bit of stiffness in the shoulder still. Um, I rode a friend's bike yesterday. Thoroughly enjoyed it, but I noticed that it was still very painful on the right arm. So I'm not in a rush. I'm doing weights and sit-ups and all the usual garbage they expect you to do. It will get better, I know it will. I've got full movement in it, but if I hold it in one position for too long, it's bloody uncomfortable. Um, when you bear in mind that I've been driving articulated vehicles originally to the Middle East, then all over Europe, coaches all over Europe, uh, police cars on blue light response, that was my only ever accident in 54 years. So no complaints. I walked theoretically or hypothetically, it's a walk away accident. Uh, within three or four days I was released. My daughter, God bless her, who appeared at the hospital within hours of me getting there and she lives quite a way away. But her and her partner run me home. I was in a sling had a brace, full bandage, bandage and stitches. I'm not sure how I coped, but I did. Um, I'm a pedantic old bugger. I like to do things for myself. I don't like to be nursemaided. I don't like to be mollycoddled. I'm, I'm very individual, very independent. And so I coped. I had to sleep in the armchair for about two weeks because it was too painful to lay down with all the back injuries and the shoulder injury. Um, I feel good now. I, I really do feel good. I'm almost back to how I was. I mean, given my age, I'm 71, um, had a horrific smash, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing everything I used to normally do. If you have any questions, about the accident, the bite, me, please let me know. The only thing I'd like to do is ask you, please, please wear the right gear. If you are going out to have an accident, wear the best gear you can afford because that accident was out of the blue. I have no idea why it happened. I have no recollection of it. But the ambulance crew and the surgeon who treated me, lovely guy, and shout out to King's trauma unit, they're brilliant people, brilliant, every single one of them. Um, the, the general consensus is perhaps I should have been dead. It was it was pretty full on accident. And yeah, I laugh about it now. It's no problem. I will have another bike. Um, it's not just the bike. I've got to buy new gear, new helmet, and helmets aren't cheap at the moment, and gloves and blah. <coughs> and because what wasn't damaged in the accident probably got cut off. And uh, the first few scans I had, I had bits of clothing dangling everywhere where they'd cut sleeves off and cut my thermal underlayer up up the front and. Uh, <laughs> I looked like a bag of poo, I really did. Really feeling sorry for myself in that first sort of couple of hours, but morphine. Oh, once that kicked in. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty convinced the surgeon probably thought I was worse than I was, because as you know, 
I'm quite a sarcastic, dry old bugger. And I think I used a bit of sarcasm on, he, on him and he thought maybe I got more brain damage than I had. Uh, transpires, it's just me. I'm just a sarcastic old bugger with a weird sense of humour. Anyway, it was and is a short update for all those guys who keep asking. I am fine. I am fairly full mobile again. Everything seems to work. I have no issues. I eat well, I sleep well, I exercise well, and I'm mobile again, albeit in a really tatty old Vauxhall thingy. Um, but life goes on, and I'm happy that it goes on. But just do me a favour, every single one of you, get the best gear you can afford. I'm saying it again. And wear it. Don't care what the weather's doing. Wear your bloody gear. It was a beautiful sunny morning. I could have easily worn a lot less. I could have... It was, it was that time of day when I could have been riding in a t-shirt and shorts if I was that type of person. But I had my gear on. All events open, obviously, but... And I'm glad I did. And I'm thankful to Clem because that helmet really, really did save my life. Looking at it later, um, the, the fractures in it, but it kept its structure and the padding all kept in place and it worked. And my jacket and trousers worked, although they were sliced open later. Um, the only thing that niggles me about the whole accident is it was only two days before I'd put brand new bloody tyres on the bike. <laughs> there are funny things that niggle, isn't it? But yeah, I'm happy, I'm me, back to normal, just haven't got a bike. When I get one, I have tried doing videos from the car before um, between bikes and I never get any viewers, so there's no point in putting those videos up. You seem to like me grumbling on the bike, so we'll just have to wait. But Alan's about, he's watching your videos. None of you are posting enough. Keep it up. Keep me occupied in the evening. And thanks to those of you who have been asking. Stay safe. I've got a packet of chocolate biscuits in there and I've got a mug of tea sitting there. I'm going to enjoy them. Bye.